Okay, we're gonna be putting together the perfect setup machine. Also comes with healthy guide to eating and the owner's manual and a meal plan. All right, we're gonna need two of these little plugs that come here and we're gonna place the body support white pad over here on your body pad. So make sure that this little curve here is going to be facing down, like so. Okay, I'm going to line up with the holes, and if you take these plugs, squeeze them with your finger as you push. There you go, go into the slots easier, like so. The next step is your back blade. You want to make sure this little label is facing down so that your bend is upwards whenever you slide this in. The easiest way I've found to do this is you can slide it in in between this little gray slot here. So lift that up, slide that in. When you get to this part here, it's going to want to go in. You need to bring it to come underneath. So if you bend this up, <clears throat> and you can slide this up through a slot by bending it like that. And then pick up on your little tab, like so, and then slide it under until it locks in place. Now these slots are configured for if you're a short or a taller person. So if you're a taller person, you probably want to put your back blade in one. And the same thing, we're going to put the legs in these slots. So if you're a shorter person, you might want to put it all the way in slot three. So this is just how we do. Two, I guess, is for the average height. So. That's where we're gonna put ours in. Make sure your labels are facing down. Tab. Okay, the next step, we need to flip this over and we're gonna put in the uh, last four plugs over and we'll put in these four plugs again line up our holes slash right in okay straight in and it snaps in Okay, the next step we're going to go ahead and put on the next support. It's going to go here. Good. And flip this over so we can see where it needs to go. Over like so. We just slide it in this slot. So. Uh, Easier to put your finger underneath, just be real careful so you don't smash your finger and that's locked in place. Okay, now we're gonna go ahead and do foot support on the bottom side. So let's go ahead and get that. Okay, again, we'll go ahead and put this together. This is going to be facing this way and we want this to be like so. You have the two little adjustment holes here for different size feet, if you have bigger feet or smaller feet, what have you. We're going to go ahead and put it in the first one here. So once we get this in here, you want it to be facing like that. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and put this side on. There we go. Okay, just like that. Okay, let's go ahead and put the foot supports in the leg blades. All of these are now we simply are going to slide 
for each fin into our slot and lock it in place. Again, be careful not to smash your fingers when picking up the little tab here to slot it into place. That's in place. This one as well. There we go. Okay, so we flip this over and see what it looks like. First thing I had to do was adjust my straps. Flip straps here all the way to the second hole to contour better to my feet, hold them in there, better support. A few things I want to talk about. The blades for your feet and your back blade was set, if you remember right, as we put this together in slot two. It was a little cramped when I tried it out in slot two. I'm five foot eight and I was give you a little example. When I lay down like so, I felt like this, which is not good. So I had to adjust the blades all the way out to slot one. And now it's a comfortable position to do your crunches and sit up. So if you're six foot or above, this machine might not work as well for you because you're going to be pretty cramped up when using it. So it won't be comfortable. Like I said, you could try it, I'm not sure. I don't have anyone that I know that's six foot around me to try this out and see how it fits on them, but for me it was cramped, and this is a more comfortable position. Now using this machine is very simple. You can do a basic crunch, lifting it up, like so. You can do some obliques by picking up one leg, like so. Or you could do the more advanced crunch, Lifting your legs up, crunching up with it, and you can do obliques as well. Yeah, this machine does work well, and that's the reason why I wanted to try it out. It really targets the abs. So, hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, putting this thing together, it does work well. I do vouch for that. So, don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you again soon.